So welcome everybody. My name is Tyler McMahon with Aruba and HPE Networks. Um, this is our next video in our Networking Essentials overview. In the previous videos, we had talked about what routing and switching at your house might look like, how you would normally get online in a typical home environment, and we overviewed some of the Aruba Enterprise grade switches. This video, we want to go over encapsulation and some of the protocols that are involved there as we break it down into these different layers to better describe exactly what's going on down at those at that bit level. And then we'll take a look at actually getting into an Aruba switch and some commands to validate what we're looking at. Encapsulation is the process of taking your data that you want to send or that you're requesting a website or whatever from your computer or your PC to whatever destination you're trying to reach at the end of the day. So what carries it over there are switches in between, routing functions in between, but ultimately the original source is your IP address, the final destination is the destination address. And once it leaves your NIC card, your computer is kind of done with it. So what we'd like to do is kind of explain what's going on once it actually leaves and heads on out. The first thing we want to do is describe this uh, using four different layers of networking. That way we can break it up into its pieces to try and help better understand what's going on. So with your network interface card transmitting the data, it's going to transmit it on a radio or it's going to transmit it on a physical port with a cable. It doesn't really matter which, it's it's just whatever your 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 next top device, your router, or in this case my home net gearbox or whatever, uh, is connecting with. That transmission, once it leaves, is going to carry with it the payload of information that you're trying to send to your destination. To describe what type of data it is, we use port numbers, and these port numbers are going to match up to ultimately an application on the other end, on the recipient's end. So like port 80 would be for web traffic. Port 22 is known as secure shell traffic. It's for command line um, to configure like a CX switch remotely from your home. The CX switch would support a secure command line connection with SSH. Actually does not support Telnet, so uh, which is an unsecure legacy protocol. 53 would be DNS. So this section of data as it's being carried across, we refer to as a segment, whereas layer one, you kind of refer to as the physical layer. And the ultimate addressing piece of this is going to be, as I said, your IPv4 traffic, which we refer to as the packet at that point. So if you're talking about transmitting and figuring out how to reach your source and destination based on addressing, layer three addressing, we refer, we refer to the data at that point as a packet. If you're troubleshooting your data as what application is going through or if a firewall is blocking a port or something like that, you would refer to the payload as the segment at that point. And ultimately, what we'd like to do with all of this in place is frame it all up using what we call Ethernet addresses at layer two. So you've got the payload itself being carried across a wire at layer one, and you've got the um, framing of that payload doing a full encapsulation and ultimately a frame check, and we'll talk about here in the next section or the next slide, uh, with the data itself being addressed as a packet and the application that is pointing to as a segment. So these are our four layers, layer one being the wire, layer two being the frame, layer three being the packet, and layer four ultimately referred to as the segment or the ports that would carry that traffic and point to its application once it's received. What we're gonna focus on is gonna be the layer one, layer two. To do that, at each layer, there are different protocols that describe its operation. And you wanna have agreement between your station, your computer, your network interface card, what it's sending, what protocol it uses, and the protocol that your switch or your router is expecting. If you're speaking two different protocols, it's the same as speaking two different languages. You're not gonna have the bits being understood. So layer one as the physical layer ultimately just describes with its protocol uh, what the bits mean as they're being laid on the wire. This process of taking information and converting it into ones and zeros is known as modulation. And what you're 
uh, devices are doing on the other end is demodulating that information into back into ones and zeros. So you modulate it uh, into a transmission like voltage, and then you demodulate that transmission back into bits. Your computer understands the bits, the switch, the router understands the bits, but the wire in between needs to carry those bits as light on fiber cable or as uh, frequency and, uh, uh, and amplitude changes for your radio signals. And for typical copper connections, we're just using different changes in voltages to indicate whether we have a one or a zero. As long as it's agreed upon and the media that is being carried upon is the same, then you should be fine. As the protocols match up, the data is gonna be understood. So these different media types that you can use, ultimately it's just what you're agreeing on. And you can certainly go from wireless to uh, an access point. The access point can then convert that into copper. The copper could run it to a modem, which is converting it back into, uh, into fiber. It, you know, that's, that's not a problem, as long as each hop agrees along the way. The layer two runs on top of this, and this is in order to frame up our bits so they mean something, whereas layer one just is concerned about transmitting bits, layer two and above, we have protocols at each layer to organize, to dictate what those bits actually refer to. So the reliability of this is that you're transmitting with a typical source and destination at layer two, just like you do at layer three, but we're gonna do a frame check sequence to kind of snapshot what the whole frame looks like with the payload, all your layer three, layer four addressing, uh, which I'm not showing there, and then your layer two source and destination MAC addresses to get you from one hop to the next. If at any point this frame check sequence breaks on the recipient side, if they do their own frame check sequence and it doesn't match up with yours, then the assumption is there's a bit missing or something's been tampered with or it's just a bad frame due to a physical media issue and you'll typically resend it um, as needed. So in this video, we talked about encapsulation, we talked about protocols, and a focus on layer one, the physical layer, and layer two, the data link. The next video will actually get on the command line of a 6300CX operating system switch and work with some PCs to validate our layer one, layer two connectivity. Thank you very much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.